Welcome to Everything Neuropathy. I'm your host, Dr. Karen May. Today on Everything Neuropathy, we're going to talk about Lyme's disease and neuropathy. Um, I'm the owner and physician at Momentum Health Neuropathy Center, but I'm also a neuropathy survivor. So like any time we put in Everything Neuropathy together, this is great information. I try to give you an action step, but it does not constitute medical advice. So please talk with your physician. Um, I have a bunch of notes, so if you see me looking down, it's because I want to make certain I, I get this right. Lyme's disease is a chronic illness that is very underreported. It's a tick-borne illness called Borrelia burgdorferi. It's a big fancy word, but typically characterized, especially when I was learning 20 years ago about it, was by a bullseye type pattern. But the problem is, is it doesn't always have that, and so that's why it's severely underreported. And symptoms can literally just be like flu-like. And so people will think they just have the flu and they go on. But what's happening is that is if when that Lyme's disease just no longer sticks within the tissue and starts to go into the blood, um, it's called dissemination. And there's early and late dissemination. And early means it starts to hit the bloodstream. Late means it's not just in the bloodstream. It also is impacting in the organs and neurologically. And so if it's left untreated for months to years, that's when it's that late dissemination or it's called Lyme's neuroboreali excuse me, Lyme's neuroboreliosis. And so that's where it starts to impact those nerves. Some of the research is showing that about 15% of Lyme's cases go into late term and have neuropathy but like I said it is chronically underreported so it's probably a lot more than that and the other thing is is what's also difficult with Lyme's disease is there's many times co-infections that come along with that and the co-infections are typically like um, they're called Bartonella and Babsia they're another tick-borne type of illness that go along with it that have their own host of symptoms that can be more acute or more immediate um, in nature that need to be addressed as well. So, and those two uh, co-infections can also cause neuropathy. So you can see this is a very difficult and layered approach um, to even get a diagnosis, to make certain you're understanding what's going on, that you have a doctor who listens to you. And, and so, but then it's like, what do you do about it? So neuropathy, it's a chronic condition that leaves people feeling just defeated and, and, and losing a quality of life. Lyme's disease can do the same thing. And so when we're looking at neuropathy, we always have to go back and look at how, how nerves heal at one millimeter a day under ideal healthy conditions. And when you have Lyme's disease, you're not ideal and healthy. So wh what's the approach that we take? Uh, understand that the first thing is always to bring inflammation down. I like the information from Dr. Rawls, MD, so it's R-A-W-L-S-M-D.com. He had his own journey with Lyme's disease. He is definitely great information on there. And one of the first things that he talks about is addressing the microbial aspect of the Lyme's disease. I'm not a Lyme's expert, but also if you're full of inflammation, you are going to just exacerbate that Lyme's disease. So using food as medicine is going to be vital at bringing inflammation down in the body. And in particular, gluten and dairy are two big things that cause a lot of inflammation but grains in general can. So focusing on getting in good quality vegetables, about half your half your plate uh, should be vegetables, good protein and minimize sugar, even excessive amounts of fruit sugar. Uh, so keep those in mind. But then also we have to get, if to, to heal nerves, you may take care of the Lyme's infection, but now we have, you're left with the ravaging effects of neuropathy. So in order to heal those nerves, you need less inflammation and better blood flow. Then you have a shot at healing those nerves. So if you're suffering with Lyme's disease, you've done everything you can, and you're still suffering now with the, the, the impacts of, of the late um, neuroborreliosis and having that, the neuropathy, call. Our office is, is ready and waiting to hear your journey, helping you to start to, to plan your neuro, uh, neuropathy relief options today. 
And so give our office a call, 517-883-2291. And we'd be more than happy to understand where, listen to your journey, understand what you want, where you want to go. And then we can see and uh, help to understand what are the next best steps for you. So thank you for joining us at Empower Hour. And I look forward to hearing from you soon. Any comments, put them below. We do our best to answer all the comments as well. 517-883-2291.